Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. In this video, I'm going to explain you about bonus shares. Bonus shares are the free shares which, are, which will be issued by a company to the existing shareholders out of reserves or accumulated profits. That is also called capitalization of profits. That means the company is converting the un, uh, accumulated profits, undistributed profits into share capital. So what is the procedure? What is the meaning of this term bonus shares? A prudent company will create reserves out of its profits so that these profits, these reserves can be used for expansion of the business and also to declare the dividend when the profits are inadequate. Just like a person will not spend all his income a part of his income he will save because future is uncertain. He has to face the uncertainty of future. Similarly, a business will also will not distribute all profits among shareholders. A part of the profit will be kept in reserves. So every prudent company will keep a part of the profit in reserves so that it can be used for future expansion and also to declare the dividend whenever they have inadequate profit. Sometimes the company may not be in a position to pay dividend in cash in spite of having a huge profit in spite of having a huge profit because the reserves can have adverse effect on the working capital of the company when cash is paid in the form of dividend cash goes out then it will affect the working capital that's why the company will not declare dividend in cash they will keep the profit in reserves now, in order to avoid the outflow of cash from the business and at the same time satisfy the shareholders, the company will declare bonus shares. That means the company will think that it should not affect the working capital and also it will, it will not, it should not affect the expectation of the shareholders. The shareholders expect a dividend. So in spite, uh, instead of giving the dividend in cash, the company will give the dividend in bonus shares. So, company may resort, resort to issue of bonus shares to the existing shareholders. Now, this may be done by making partly paid shares into fully paid up or fully paid equity shares will be given to the existing shareholders. The bonus can be given in two ways. The first way bonus can be given by converting the partly paid shares into fully paid. And secondly, bonus can be given by issuing fully paid bonus shares to the existing shareholders now shares issued free of cost to the existing shareholders by way of capitalization of profit and reserves is called bonus share so finally this is the meaning of the term bonus shares shares which are issued free of cost to the existing shareholders by utilizing the past reserves and accumulated profits capitalization of accumulated profits into capital that is called bonus shares. The issue of bonus shares implies payment of dividend in terms of shares instead of cash. When a shareholder invests the money in the company, he expects the return in the form of dividend. The dividend can be received either in cash or in terms of shares. If dividend is received in terms of shares, it is called bonus shares. The issue of bonus shares allotted to members in proportion to the existing shareholders. So company will make a plan for how many existing shareholders bonus shares will be issued for example every 10 shares held one bonus shares will be issued or every 20 shares held one bonus shares will be issued like this bonus shares will be issued in proportion to existing shares held by the shareholders as a result of the members acquire few more shares suppose earlier you are having 100 shares now 20 more shares you got freely now you are the holder of 120 shares 20 free shares you got from the company that is bonus shares. Now this increase the issue of share capital without any change on assets. There is no there is no change on the asset side of the balance sheet. Only on the liability side, we are, uh, the reserves and surplus are decreasing and share capital is increasing. That is the effect of bonus shares. Now guidelines are issued by SEBI. In India, whenever a company wants to issue bonus shares, they have to follow the guidelines issued by SEBI, Securities and Exchange Board of India. So only after satisfying these guidelines, the company is eligible to issue bonus shares. The first guideline says uh, the company has to issue a certificate 
First of all, the company has to obtain a certificate countersigned by the statutory auditor that all the terms and conditions regarding the issue of bonuses are complied. Because in Companies Act, so many provisions are given that these are the provisions to be followed by a company in India if the company wants to issue bonuses. So the company has to satisfy countersigned by the statutory auditor that all the terms and conditions are satisfied. Secondly, this issue will not dilute the value or right of holders of partly paid or fully paid convertible debentures. If a company is having convertible debentures, partly convertible or fully convertible, their rights should not be affected. Thirdly, the bonus issue is made out of free reserves and built out of genuine profits or share premium collected in cash only. So from which reserve this bonus can be issued? The bonus can be issued from free reserves. Free reserves, that means which are genuinely made out of profits and from the share premium account received in cash. So if the share premium is received in cash, that can be utilized or free reserves which are genuinely made out of profits, that reserve can be used. Reserves created for revaluation of assets cannot be capitalized. If reserves are created by revaluation of assets, that reserve is not available for declaring bonus. The bonus issue is not made unless partly paid shares are converted into fully paid. A company cannot issue fully paid bonus shares until and unless if it is having partly paid shares, those partly paid should be converted into fully paid. So first step, convert the partly paid shares into fully paid shares, then only the company can issue fully paid bonus shares. Like next one, the bonus, uh, there is a provision in the article of association for capitalization of reserves. The article of association, in this article of association, there should be a clause that the company can capitalize its profits by declaring bonus. If this clause is not there, the company must amend the article of association and put to that clause that company can be able to convert the reserves into capital. If it is not there in the article of association, the company cannot issue bonus shares. Next one, the company shall, sub, uh, shall implement the proposal bonus issue within 15 days from the date of approval of board of directors. After the approval of board of directors, within 15 days, the company shall start uh, the implementing this bonus proposal and the company must implement the proposal within two months. That means within two months, the proposal should be completely implemented. After two months, it will the proposal get, will get elapsed. That means new proposal has to be made. So these are the guidelines which are issued by SEBI whenever a company wants to issue bonus shares. So in examination, you may get a theory question regarding what are bonus shares, what are the guidelines issued by SEBI. So the discussion which, are, which just now I have completed. Now, reserves that can be used. Every reserve cannot be used for declaring bonus. Only free reserves which are made out of genuine profits. From the profits, any reserve is created. Free reserve that is available for declaring bonus. So what are the reserves? Balance in profit and loss account or general reserve, dividend equalization fund, capital reserve arising from the profit of sale of as fixed assets received in cash and balance in debenture redemption reserve after redemption of debentures. Then capital redemption reserve created at the time of redemption of redeemable preferences. Security premium collected in cash. So these seven are the examples of those reserves which can be used for declaring bonus shares. Right? And note, one important note is that this last one, sixth and seventh, these reserves can be used to only for issuing fully paid bonuses. It cannot be used for converting partly paid into fully paid. Whereas the first five can be used for converting partly paid into fully paid or issuing fully paid bonuses. But this capital redemption reserve account and security premium collected in cash, this can be used only, only for declaring fully paid bonus shares. Now lastly, what is the accounting treatment when bonus shares are issued? So bonus can be issued in two ways, converting partly paid shares into fully paid shares or issuing fully paid bonus shares. So first of all, converting partly paid shares into fully paid shares. Three entries you have to remember. First entry, debit all the reserves which you are using 
for declaring bonus. Debit all the reserves which you are using for declaring bonus. Example, profit and loss account debit, general reserve account debit, capital reserve account debit. These are the reserves which we are using. And credit to a new account called bonus to shareholders. To bonus to shareholders, first entry. Second, share final call account debtor to share capital. That means final call money due. The final call money due, share final call account data to share capital. Third entry, share a bonus to shareholders account data to share final call. Being the adjustment of final call from bonus. Being the adjustment of final call from bonus. These three entries are required for converting partly paid into fully paid. Last one, when company issues fully paid bonus shares, only two entries you have to remember. Debit all reserves from which you are using the money for bonus. Example, profit and loss account data, general reserve account data, capital reserve account data, security premium account data, capital redemption reserve account data, any other reserve, whichever you are using, all the reserves should be debited. And credit should be given to a new account called bonus to shareholders account. So to bonus to shareholders. Lastly, giving the bonus shares, bonus to shareholders account data to share capital and to security premium if any. If bonus shares are issued at premium, then security premium. If bonus shares are issued at face value, then premium will not come. That's it. So, this is the last entry for declaring bonus. So, in this video, I have explained you about the meaning of the term bonus shares, guidelines for issue of bonus shares, and what are the reserves. What are the reserves which can be used for, crea for uh, creating the bonus shares? for giving the bonus shares and lastly what are the journal entries take a screenshot of the notes which i have written on the board then inshallah next topic will start in the next video